Hey there, good morning. Today we're gonna have a quick look at the DJI Rise Tello. Now this is a really, really small drone, but a really cool beginner drone. Um, what I'll be showing you guys today is the Fly More uh, combo, which is actually called the uh, Boost combo. And what do we actually have in the pack? I'll be showing you guys in a few minutes. Just uh, quickly some other information about the drone. It works with a combination of DJI technology and Intel. So for a toy grade drone, it's, it's a pretty good uh, package that you'll be getting. And I would say, let's call it a, a gateway drone. So this would probably be a really good drone to buy for your kids. You can fly it indoors. Um, it's not a very dangerous drone. It's very light, so it's not gonna uh, cause a lot of damage if you make a little mistake, which does happen. I did chop up one of our plants. And the Tello does not have an SD card, so it actually uh, streams uh, the footage to your phone uh, and it's saved there uh, in, the, in the actual app. Um, it has a very good position hold, so it has no sensors all around, you can probably see. But here on the bottom, if you look, it does have sensors. So I think it's a camera, maybe infrared that it's got there. And it actually uses these sensors here in the bottom to see where it is above the ground and try and hold position that way, see, as it doesn't have GPS. Um, cost of this uh, boost combo was, I think I paid about 150 euros for it, which I think it is worth the money. And we'll see soon as well, because after we go through what we will find here in the boost combo, we're gonna take it outside and I'll show you guys how it flies. First of all, of course, the Tello itself, with you can see here, the little rotor guards that are pre-installed on the drone. You can replace them. And in the boost combo, you've got your little guides. You've got extra propellers with a little tool, so you can use that to replace them. You've got the three uh, batteries, uh, the three cells that you can use in the pack. And each cell will give you about, uh, let's say, 10, 13 minutes of flight time. And last, but absolutely not least, the three cell charger. So you can actually charge all three batteries at the same time. Right, what we'll do now is we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see how it actually flies. If it's actually stable um, um, outside, I hope the wind isn't uh, too hard at the moment so we can, uh, so we can you know, see what it can really do. Um, what I'll also be doing is at the end of this video, I will be telling you guys about a little hack that I figured out and this little hack actually makes it possible to change the maximum height because there is a maximum height hidden in the DJI Tello that will restrict you to about let's say 10 meters uh, high and you know in the best circumstances you can do about 100 meters far but I've seen it in the city you know you can put it up 10 meters but if you go out more than 20 30 meters you'll see that the footage starts to get a little bit uh, sketchy and the controls not very responsive anymore. So it is actually sort of a toy grade drone, but a really fun one at that. Okay, now for the fun part of the video. We're outside, got the battery, got the DJI Tello. So you can see in the back, you insert the battery till it clicks. And then on the side of the Tello, you will find the little on button. So we're actually gonna hit that and we're gonna watch it take off and then I'll see if I can take it into a, uh, a sort of a screen recording so you can see the controls and what the drone is actually seeing while we're flying. And there we go. We're actually seeing what the drone is seeing at this point. So now we're gonna actually hit the top left button for a takeoff. Move the slide and the drone goes up. I'll bring it up a little bit more. Hey there, and now I'm on the other screen. So, as you can see, not doing anything with the controls, it's a very, very stable drone. So there's a you know, very slight breeze outside at this point, um, but the drone is doing very well. So at this point, I'm just gonna fly it around so you guys can see what it does. move it out a little bit from under a big tree so we can actually test the height of the drone. So we're gonna turn it around a little bit and start moving it up. 
as you can see here altitude 30 meters and we're going to move that we're going to leave that at 30 that is the max altitude so i'm going to move out of there and you can see that now it's not at 10 but it's at 30 and i'll show you in a few minutes how we actually fix that now back into the controls moving the drone around we're going to actually start to go up now you can see six meters seven meters eight meters nine meters 15 16 18 21 well you get the picture it actually works very well when you try and move it around okay now starting to bring the drone down a little bit you can see in the middle top screen where we are at height so actually lowering the drone and going to do a little bit of flying around just to give you a little idea of what the video looks like on the drone As you can see the video when you get out a little bit further starts to actually deteriorate and the feed gets really really slow so like i said this is a toy grade drone uh, but still a really nice one at that as you can see it is very stable the video isn't bad at all and i think you know very nice to do maybe a little bit of shooting at a maybe a barbecue or something when you're having some fun here you go it does have all kinds of different flight modes so you can actually try different things with the drone if you would like to see that you know let me know in uh, the comments below so we can uh, start up and make a new video showing all kinds of different flight modes and some more interesting information about the camera and all kinds of other specs about the drone well this has come to an end so I'm gonna bring it back down and um, get back inside to finish up the rest of my day but thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and you know leave a comment below if you'd like to see you know maybe some more stuff about the tello hey before i forget real quick i promised you guys i was going to tell you how to change the max altitude setting uh, what i figured out really quickly uh, when started using the tello is that if you go into the settings and have a look at the max altitude uh, while you're connected to the drone and the drone is on the ground max altitude is sort of a locked function so you can see a slide bar but you know it's gray and you can't do anything with it what i figured out a little bit later on is that when you actually have the tello connected and up in the air after takeoff just let it hover go back into the settings while it's hovering in the air and then access uh, the altitude settings and at that point somehow uh, the, ex the the actual function is uh, you know it does work so at that point you can just set it up to i think max 30 so you go from 10 meters maximum to 30 which is uh, awesome so remember that give it a try let me know in the comments below if it worked out for you guys as well and have a lot of fun catch you next time